All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, and welcome to my brand new series called Andy Before Japandi. Now, in this video series, I'm going to be talking about various facets of my relationship with Japan, as well as document my return to the country in 2019 to go back to college. So in this series, we're going to be talking about such things as Will Japan fix my problems? Why am I going to Tokyo instead of other parts of the country? As well as what I'm going to be packing for my study abroad in Japan. So in addition to that, we're also going to be going over some stories of my original time out in Japan from 2013 to 2015. But in today's video, we're going to be going over why I even want to go back to Japan in the first place. Now, to best answer this question, it's, well, best to uh, give you guys a brief history of my relationship with Japan, which we'll be getting into more detail in a future video, but just gonna go over the brief Cliff's Notes version here to uh, give you guys some context. So, back in the early to mid 90s, my cousins were stationed out in Yokosuka, Japan, and they would send me home a bunch of little trinkets and souvenirs and stuff. And then in the late 90s, early 2000s was the big anime boom of America. And then in the mid 2000s is when YouTube came around. And that's when a lot of the early J vloggers like Tokyo Kuni and Tokyo Swan came onto the scene. And then in 2013 was when I got orders out to Yokosuka, Japan. And from 2013, 2015 was stationed out there made a ton of videos. When I got out of the military in 2015, I went back to school in Michigan, and then eventually came back home to Ohio, and then from there came out to where I am now, in North Carolina, to save up for my eventual return to Japan. But to basically boil it down, as far as why I want to go back to Japan in the first place, is that even though I was there for two years, um, I was very busy in the Navy, doing Navy things, and I was also out to sea a lot, so um, I wasn't even in the country for a lot of time uh, during my time I was stationed out there. For the time that I had out there, I did get to see a lot, and I feel like there's still a lot more of Japan for me to see, you know, in addition to the Tokyo area, I also want to visit other parts of Japan as well. Um, I just got a small taste of what life is like outside of the Tokyo Kanagawa area. You know, I visited my friend Moli out in Shizuoka. Uh, we got to do a couple port visits in southern Japan as well. So I got to go to like Hiroshima. There's a lot more of Japan to explore and I want to get out there and do it. And even just within Tokyo itself, Tokyo is massive and there's always something to do. There's never a shortage of things to do out in Tokyo and whether it's little timed events or if it's just going to a place out in Tokyo or meeting somebody, you know, hanging out with my friends. And in addition to, to that, you know, getting out there and seeing the sights, making the videos, and especially now that I've learned so much about uh, making videos, I want to apply that knowledge to future videos. I want to do some more networking out there because uh, for those that don't know, I'm also a freelance video editor and I've worked for such channels as Eric Sir 6 and Ramen Adventures. And I've also worked with Tikio Sam as well as done a couple little one-off projects here and there. But I want to expand my network out there, edit for some more people, and just get my name out there, man. You know, I feel like uh, Japan is definitely the the right environment for me because, like I said, there's never a, a real shortage of things to do or things to record out there. And it's also one of the safest places to be as well. You know, something I've, you know, really thought about, you know, when I entered my 30s was more about my own personal safety as well as health. And, you know, Japan has a really good healthcare system. Coming back to America after being in the military for over five years, where everything was taken care of medically, so if something were to happen, I wouldn't have to worry about the bill. Uh, to come back to America and, you know, trying to look for uh, insurance and just being shocked at the, uh, the price of everything, just to have basic coverage. 
And, you know, even if you get the basic coverage to just go and either get dental work done or whatever the case may be is going to cost tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, depending on the extent of the work. And, you know, Japan has socialized medicine and it's a lot cheaper, significantly cheaper. Um, health is something that I'm really paying attention to more because in my 20s, I didn't really care so much. But, you know, now that time is starting to catch up with me, um, it's something that I'm going to be pri- prioritizing a bit more. I really like the transportation system out there. I find it really efficient. Sometimes the trains are really crowded depending on what time you go and where you're going. So that can be a bit bothersome. But it is a lot easier to get around in the train versus a car. And a lot less expensive too. You don't have to worry about your car breaking down and that's it for you. (laughs) Whereas in America, you absolutely need a car to get anywhere unless you live in like a really big city. And even then, the public transportation system. And I also want to get out on my bike a lot more, my bicycle. So I think that's going to be a good way for me to lose some weight (laughs) that I've gained from eating all this American food and, you know, only driving around in my car and stuff like that. So I think it's going to be a good way for me to uh, lose some damn weight. But uh, yeah, those are some uh, basic reasons for why I want to go back out to Japan And just, you know, ultimately, it's just to be happy. You know, I felt like despite how hectic my work schedule was out in Japan, you know, I could always take take solace in just knowing that I live in Japan. This is what I've wanted to do since I was a little kid. And even just going to a park or going to a convenience store, department store, just walking around, you know, um, it just it filled me with just that that feeling of this is where I need to be. And it's not something I can really convey in a video without sounding like super weebish, you know. Like America, Japan has its own problems too, and I'm not blind to those problems. Uh, Japan's not a perfect country, just like America's not a perfect country. No country is perfect. But for me, the pros outweigh the cons in living in Japan. You know, I want to really scratch that itch again and live out in Japan without having to worry about adhering to the military policy of living out in Japan. I want to just live my life, do my thing. Thankfully, I've been given the opportunity to do so. I just need to work my ass off, save up a bunch of money because, you know, that plane ticket ain't going to pay for itself. And also got to save up for living expenses until the GI Bill kicks in. But that's a video for another time. So with that said, guys, this is Andy S. Signing out for now. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.